Hi everyone. Mr. and Mrs. Traveler here. Don't cost me. Welcome to day number four of the 12 days of Christmas. It's the 12 days of Christmas. If you haven't found a ship that you like yet, stay tuned. We have more coming. All right, everybody. So day <laughs> number four. Day number four. Hmm. Wonder what that could be. <laughs> Disney Cruise Line. Disney Cruise Line. Yeah, absolutely, guys. So we had the absolute privilege and honor to go on the Disney cruise earlier this year. We did. Courtesy was, of my wife. It was such a privilege to treat my sweet, loving Mr. Traveler husband. It was a bit of an adventure getting on there because of some hurricanes, but yeah. we made it. After the third time, we finally made it this year. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, guys. So, yeah, Disney Cruise Line. Uh, they were formed in 1998, and the first ship was the Disney Magic. Yes, it was. Disney actually started out trying to partner with a lot of the major cruise lines, uh, offering like uh, park add-ons to cruise vacations and things like that. Like packages. Yeah, but mm -hmm. the, the relationships never really materialized for them. Mm -hmm. So Disney said, you know what? I'm going to have my own line. I'm going to build my own line. <laughs> and he did. <laughs> Minnie, yeah. we're going to get a oh. <laughs> <laughs> line. If you haven't watched our Disney videos, just click above. They'll be flashing on the screen. <laughs> yeah, Mickey wound and bought four four ships that they currently have in their fleet, and they've got three more slated coming up in the next uh, several years. Yes. Um, and they actually bounce those ships around quite a bit. I mean, yeah, they are everywhere. Yeah, those four ships they bounce them around to Alaska. I've seen them in the Mediterranean, mm -hmm. of course, the Caribbean. Um, so, you know, when they get those those other three ships and they're going to be doing, uh, they're actually going to be doing some Hawaii cruises on Disney as well. We're partial to Disney because we love Mickey and Minnie Mouse. We are Disney fans and we live very close to Disney. We're in Orlando and we can actually hear the fireworks at night from our home. Yep. Nobody, 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 nobody does families better than Disney. Nobody. No. Not even Who's close. Lying nowhere does <laughs> family better than Disney Cruise. Now, is not necessarily a, a budget friendly uh, item. No, Disney. I didn't say all that. <laughs> uh, Mickey Mouse <laughs> does come with a with a little bit more of a price tag mm -hmm. for the cruise lines, but I think that you do get quite a bit of value get your for the worth. for the for the added cost. Yes. Um, so so let's talk about yeah, it. Absolutely. People that work on board the ships with your children have to go through rigorous. Rigorous, rigorous, rigorous training, background training, and training. training. Training, background, training, training, background, training. It's like literally kid robots. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mickey Mouse does not play that with the kids. <laughs> yeah, they're very, very friendly, almost over friendly on yeah. the ships. They are very, very kind and they're they're treated to be experts with your family. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And without a doubt, the cleanest absolutely cleanest ship I've ever been on. I have Almost never seen. Cruises, they're the cleanest. I have never seen a ship so immaculate in every area of the ship. When I it's say amazing. spick and span, spick and span. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can smell the the cleanliness in, in, in the air. It just smells fresh on the ship. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, absolutely. They do an absolutely wonderful job with yes. Disney. Of course, it's a great experience for the children uh, being immersed with the Disney characters. Yeah, it's, it's considered white glove service, so that means it's an upscale luxury level. It's, all, it's Disney is on a whole nother level when it comes to service. You can't even compare any of the cruise lines to Disney because they, they set apart by themselves. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And and uh, right along, like I said earlier on our, on our day number two, uh, Disney Cruise Line patrons are some of the most loyal. Loyal. I, I mean, they will cut you. <laughs> Talk about this. Yes, we've had dinner <laughs> with loyal Disney cruisers, and they will not do any other cruise line but Disney because it's that great. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so the whole experience is to add, the the ship itself is an experience. It's it's a an experience for all your senses. 
Mm -hmm. uh, from the moment you get on, when you walk on board the ship, they introduce you. You greet it. Mm -hmm. You know, this is the this is the Mr. Traveler family. Yeah, you feel so special. I felt like a movie star when they called our name out. Yeah. What cruise line calls your name? And, <laughs> and then you go to different restaurants on board the ship, and your waiters and your waitresses follow you to those different venues every day. Uh, gives you a fresh uh, look at a different restaurant. Uh, and, and uh, some of them are very technologically advanced, like we're having dinner with Crush, uh, and he talks to you and sure. interactive. That was great. Uh, they obviously celebrate the seasons, mm -hmm. uh, Christmas, and things like that aboard the ships. Yeah. Uh, which is really great, and they do that for a long period of time. Um, it's absolutely all about family, absolutely all, all about the kids. Uh, but at the same time, if you want to do this as an adult, like we did, we don't have kids, so we sailed along as a couple. And if you want to watch that video, it'll be up above where you can see if you wanted to go romantically with who you're with, you can do that as well. Yeah, so uh, it definitely they have adult areas. And even not being in the adult areas, I found that the, the children were, uh, for the most part, pretty well behaved. They were. And the Disney Cruise Line does pretty good on, on keeping those kind of things in order. You know how when you're on a cruise and kids running up and down the hall, knocking on people's doors, running up and down all night. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> that was not happening on Disney. Very quiet. Kids were well behaved. It, it wasn't like that with Disney. It, it was upscale elegance. It's very classy ship. Then when you go to their private island in the, in the Caribbean, uh, there was a whole section of the island that's just for adults, mm -hmm. which was great. They had a steak. They had steak Ribeyes. on the yes. bar barbecue. <laughs> I we'll never just, forget those things. No, they, they, were, they were awesome. They were a treat. They really were a treat. Um, Disney doesn't hold anything back as far as service or food. There were uh, uh, for the buffet. There was seafood. All you can eat seafood at a buffet. Stone crab claws. At the, oh my gosh, it's so good. It really and I good. imagine once the once the Disney started sailing those Hawaii itineraries, you're going to see those will be really great for adults. Sure. Um, you know, so to be for people that really love Disney mm -hmm. and really want a, a fully immersive experience with attention to service and yes. detail, um, they Disney does it. They do, they All right, do it. guys, and 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 you know, let me say this: I'm going to put this at every single at the end of every single video that we do for these next 12 days. To me, there's no better gift than the gift of a of a cruise or a vacation under the tree. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't know how you feel, but it always I do know how you feel. <laughs> um, it always trumps everything. It trumps a material gift. To me, uh, having a trip and going somewhere, making memories, seeing new things, meeting new people, experiencing this great big place that we call the Earth uh, is, is priceless to me. It is. Presents are a gift. It's not meaningless, but then if you want to set some real memories, you want to you want to go ahead and travel the world. And the best way to do it is on a cruise where you can wake up every day and land in a different destination. And you can't put a price on that. You can't put a gift on that. That's timeless. That's a priceless gift. So if you're ready to make that call, just give us a call at 877 Six nine seven four four seven zero, or you can book online at www.mr-traveler.com. We can make that memory happen for you. Imagine when your kids go back to school uh, and uh, studying <laughs> geography and history and things like that, and they can actually relate to it because they've been to the places. So maybe you've taken them on a European. Uh, vacation and they went to Greece and they're studying Greece they can really relate oh I was there I saw the I saw that you know I saw those ruins and and you know I, I think that's great me too also when you healthy and you able to do it take that time and do it what's better time to do it than now maybe next year you can plan for a Christmas cruise maybe you don't want to put up the bells and whistles around your home decorate you just want to go ahead and hit the Caribbean we got you covered I will say that a lot of people ask us, what's the difference between going to a Disney park versus going to cruise? This is a totally different experience um, from going to the park because on it feels like when you're on a cruise, there's cater, it's an upscale catered service for you. Versus if you go to the park and you're around a whole bunch of people, it's hot, you know, you have to go to different parks. It's a totally different experience from the parks versus the cruise. It's different. And they do very well with adding parks onto the cruise if you're leaving out of Port Canaveral. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, they will actually have the bus that takes you right to the port. So, I mean, if you stay, 
you literally, if you stay on the Disney pro property at Disney World, you can land in Orlando Airport. They take you from there. You don't even have to rent a car. You, they take you from there to the property. You can get around all the parks free of charge with the different transportation options. And then they'll take you also a bus right to the cruise line afterwards. And as soon as you get to the cruise line, you will not see your luggage. They take it. They, they take it. They take your luggage. I yeah. mean, it, it's really attention. To, the, the attention to services is awesome with Disney. If you're an adult, you would love the Disney line. I was kind of apprehensive because we're adults and we didn't have kids, but we actually found that it's geared more towards adults than kids, but kids will have a good time because they got plenty to do for the kids. It's, every 15 minutes is something to do for the kids, but then separately they have an adult uh, fun time as well. And hearing, and I the, that. hearing the horn play the Disney songs is awesome. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Every time uh, we would take off, there would be a, a, a Disney song playing on the horn. So that was a little different. Like that? <laughs> That's fun. Yes, yes. All right, everybody. So Disney Cruise, Disney Cruise. And, and uh, again, we have a standing offer for Disney Cruise. You have to call us and talk to us about that. Yes, we can give you special offers. Absolutely, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Stay thank tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next day. Day five. Day five. Life short. Have fun. Bye, guys. See the world.